part of our Pride Month celebration this June, Prospects have partnered with Manchester-based charity LGBT Foundation to explore the diverse career journeys of those in the LGBT community. So my name is Wes, um, my pronouns are he, they. Um, my title within the foundation is Village Development Coordinator. What that basically means is um, I handle the day-to-day -day, uh, issues between the foundation and the visitors within the village. I also work closely with the community groups, um, but I also look after the LGBT Foundation Centre here um, and anything that goes in and out of the centre. I think as queer people, most of us have a non-traditional career path. A um, little bit of history about, about me. Um, I left home at the age of 16 and recruited myself within the Royal Navy. I did my A-levels in the Royal Navy. It was a sensible option to get away from a homophobic situation that I was in at home. Um, I quickly realised that being within the Royal Navy was possibly not the way that I wanted to be. So I left. Um, at the age of 19 and came to Manchester many, many years ago and studied accounting and finance. Um, through that, um, I progressed my career, uh, met my ex-partner and we had a group of engineering companies together. Um, for one reason or another, we're not together anymore and um, I found myself at a point in my life where I felt like I'd achieved a lot but hadn't really got enough from that that I wanted so um, a friend of mine had already worked with the foundation um, I saw a position that would have been suitable for me and I applied and here I am 100% absolutely um, the time while I was in the Royal Navy it was still illegal to be homosexual within the Royal Armed Services so I left in 1999 the homosexuality wasn't decriminalised until 2000 and I believe that I was probably one of the last people to have been asked to leave due to my sexual orientation. Not just that, um, being LGBT um, at that time, leaving, coming to university was obviously not necessarily very popular. Um, it's been a struggle. Um, during my professional exams I wasn't out at work. Um, in accounting and finance it's a very, very much a heterosexual environment. Um, it's very, very um, male environment. Um, and if I was to share my true identity, it could have hindered my career. So yeah, being LGBT definitely impacted on my career. I know things have got a little bit better um, and I hope they've got a lot better for, for a younger generation. But in my experience, it's it's been tough. Listening, listening to the individual, finding out their individual needs. I think now we're in a position where we are um, finding all different um, personalities. Um, it's not just your sexual orientation, but there are other um, say sensory needs, there are people that, that have very, very different needs. I mean, we've just gone through COVID. Um, I think being put back into a space where we're, we're alone um, has made people realise that there are far more different needs that they may need from the workspace. And I think as employers, um, it's important for them to listen to that and try and accommodate as best as they can. Um, to continue to be happy, to continue to be safe and to continue to be authentically me. Never start fighting to be seen within the workplace. I think if you start to assimilate yourself then it can mean a whole lot of trouble and a whole lot of trauma for yourself as you get older. I know in my experience hiding who I was created trauma in my life so if you've got the confidence to do it and you're able to show that you can be who you are but still be do good and still be able to work within an environment then go for it